All right, we're here with Robert. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. Robert is putting his motor back together, and a lot of times, hold on, man, hold on, hold on. These people want us to do it slow. They're like, Joe, you're always talking too fast in the videos, and we can't see what you're doing. All right, so people always ask us, how, this is the video title, how do I reinstall my motor shaft, right, after changing the bearings? Now, you've watched Robert change the bearings 400 times, and, you know, all kinds of eat cereal and websites, and you've seen us take these things apart. All right, so now, well, here we go. So here's the armature shaft, right, Robert? Robert is going to do this slow. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in over here, and I'm going to take a look. Now, look, I'm going to show you here. We're coming into the armature now. Soon we'll have a camera crane or something like that. You know, so we'll be a better look. Hey, look, I see something. It's like almost like the old episodes of Romper Room. All right. Anyway, there you go, man. So we're going to take a, a zoom here shot on there. Go ahead. And then you're going to just slide your armature. Be careful not to do it. There you go. And it's going to slide in there. Now, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to zoom my camera around here as best as I can. Now, before Robert puts that all the way in, what I want to show you is on the back of the end bell here, there's some wires and stuff. So you want to make sure that motor shaft goes through all the way. Go ahead, man. Now, as Robert pushes this through. All right. There you go. Just like that. Bam. Done. Okay. So there's the video. How to reinstall your motor shaft into your spa pump. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go to wetheadpumprepair.com. All parts are available. And we will see Robert on the next video. All right, Robert? Yes. Take it easy, man. Peace.